All right, guys, welcome to the uh, Wholesome Financial YouTube channel. Um, today, we're going to be talking about um, security freeze and how to freeze your credit reports and the importance of why you want to have a freeze on your credit. There's multiple reasons why you want to freeze your credit. The main one being to prevent identity fraud. So this can happen. Uh, I'm sure some of you guys have seen or been a part of a class action lawsuit where your data has been leaked by a particular company, most people now have access to your information, your address, your phone number, and most importantly, your social security number. And those people are then able to take that information and apply for things in your name. So credit cards, loans, et cetera, lines of credit. I've even seen this happen with family members who have access to your social security number. Those family members can also apply for things in your name, use those credit cards and ruin your credit. So. It's very important to freeze your credit when you're not applying for anything. That way, anytime you, I'm sorry, anytime somebody goes to apply for something in your name, they're denied. Even you will be denied, right? You'll get a notification from either Experian, TransUnion, or Equifax notifying you that an inquiry was attempted on your credit. That lets you know either A, you apply for it, or B, if you didn't apply for anything, you know that somebody has your information and uh, they're trying to apply for something in your name, but it was blocked. So. First thing you want to do in regards to starting the process of freezing your credit is starting with just simply typing in Google, freeze my credit Experian. I'm going to run you guys through Experian. It's the simplest one. And it's the same concept for both TransUnion and Equifax as well. And we'll go over that in a second. But what you're going to want to do is click on this first link here and you're just going to create an account. If you don't already have an account, go ahead and just click on create a free account. This will also actually give you access to your FICO score once a month. So it's going to update once a month for free. You can pay, I think it's $30 a month, $29.99, where you'll have access to your updated score every single day. And then once a month, you'll have access to your TransUnion and your Equifax score as well. But again, that's only once a month. Keep in mind, all these companies are separate private companies. They're not a conglomerate. So just, just an FYI. To keep in mind, you will have to create an account with all three of them, or I'll show you at the end, there's a number that you can call in order to freeze your account. And I think they give you a pin, if I'm not mistaken, that you'll have to then reiterate when you want to go unfreeze your account. But it's way easier to, I'm uh, sorry, it's way easier to just create the account and, uh, and go from there, especially with Experian. So with Experian, once you log in, you're going to scroll down and sometimes it's here, sometimes it's not. Let me see here. Uh, where's your credit limit? No. So if you don't see the option to freeze here, you can go to the top and click on credit and then Experian credit lock, or just go down to the bottom and click Experian credit lock. Locking is a little bit different than freezing. That's a different video, but right here, you'll see a, a prompt to manage security freeze, click on that one. And then what it'll do is it'll bring you to the screen right here where you can freeze or unfreeze the credit and it's literally click of a button. So. You click frozen and boom, just like that, your Experian credit report is frozen. This means you can't apply for anything. Anybody that has your information can apply for anything. The only people that will have access to your account is you and any creditor that you have that have an account with. So if you have a credit card with Chase, Chase has access to your credit still, even though your account is frozen. However, any new lender or person that is trying to apply for something in your name they can't access your credit, right? Because it's frozen. And so what you can do here is A, just click unfrozen when you're ready to apply for something or B, schedule a thaw. So for example, let's say you're going to apply for a car on X date, you can schedule a thaw for that date for your Experian file to be to be um, unthawed or un, I'm sorry, unfrozen. That way you can apply pending that the lender that you're going with is pooling from experience. Some lenders pull from experience, some pull from Equifax, some pull from TransUnion, some pull from all three. That's a whole separate video. Um, but regardless, if you know that the lender is going, going to be pulling from experience, whether it be the dealership or your bank, your credit union, whatever it may be, you just come here. And again, you can either manually click unfrozen or you can schedule a thaw. Or like I said, if you know the exact date, you're going to be applying for a car, a car loan, I'm sorry schedule your thought that way i would just recommend doing it manually it's very easy once you create an account you just log in and you click a button so that's how you're going to do it with experian 
with TransUnion and Equifax, just literally just type in freeze my credit right on Google and it's going to show up right here. So TransUnion, create an account, Equifax, you can also create an account. Or like I was saying in the beginning of the video, you have the numbers to all three of them. So if you don't want to create an account for whatever reason, you call them and you can freeze your credit right over the phone. Like I said, you're going to get a pin. Normally they give you a pin in order to unfreeze. So like whatever pin they give you, you're going to have to give them that pin again when you go to unfreeze your credit. But you're probably going to have to give them personal information in order to freeze your account, more than likely your social security number. I did everything online. So when I freeze my credit, I do it online. I don't do it over the phone, but just plan on having to give them your personal information in order to verify that it is you. But 100% I would recommend freezing your credit when you're not applying for anything. So if you're not applying for anything for six months, a year, just for the foreseeable future, just freeze your credit. There, It's free. There's no risk. There's, it, it literally, as you saw with experience, it's just a click of a button. And what that does is it gives you peace of mind that even if your data gets leaked, nobody's going to be able to apply for anything in your name. And like I said, if you change your mind at any point, you want to apply for a credit card, you need a line of credit alone, you're buying a car, whatever it may be, click of a button, you log into your account, you unfreeze your credit, and you go for it. There's a lot of other intricacies when it comes to credit. And we actually have a free, well, for right now, we have a free Discord. We offer one on one consultations. We have an ebook if you're looking for more information on just credit in general. In the Discord, we answer a ton of questions. Feel free to ask anything you want. We do have a lot of more stuff on the way, but for right now, click the link in the description to join the Discord. And we're pretty active almost all day. We answer any questions you have. We'll have Zoom calls periodically for Q and A's. We go live on TikTok. All the information is going to be in the description. And uh, see you guys in the next video.